Hey, Viking fans. The Minnesota Vikings selected Jaron Hall from BYU, the QB of the future, QB next. Let's talk about it next in three, two, one. Gather around, school brothers and sisters. This is Skull World, brought to you by Minnesota Sports Talk. I'm your host, Dave. You can follow me on Twitter, TikTok, and Facebook at Skull World. Now, help me Hulk smash the YouTube YouTube algorithms by making sure you're subscribed. You like and leave a comment. Share it if you would. I appreciate it. That helps me. Again, Hulk smash the YouTube algorithms. Let's go. Let's go. Let's talk about QB next. Jaron Hall. Let's do that. Picked him in the fifth round. Honestly, I knew we would take a QB. My thoughts, we would take a QB. I did think fourth, most likely fifth round. The fact that we got two picks in the fifth round made me think for sure one of these guys would be a QB. And when I saw the only guy I would dr- left that I would think about drafting still there, I was thinking Vikings will take him. They did. Jaron Hall, fifth round. Um Great value, perfect spot for him uh, in the fifth round. That was a good choice right there. Fifth round, good job. Um, I did like a couple guys earlier, maybe only reason because of height. I had him, I had him probably the fifth best quarterback, but I bumped him down to seventh because I liked it Clayton Toon because he was more athletic. Um, and just taller than Jaron Hall. Uh, I did like Cannon Hooker better than him. And I would, uh, I had Will Levis ahead of him because of height, but quarterback and skills, I got in productivity. I would have Jaron Hall over, over, uh, a Will Levis, but Will Levis, physical attributes at the quarterback position, height, hand size, all that athletic ability i just figured hey we could mold him into something so that would be the only reason why i would have him over a jaron hall but you know and it looks like nfl.com agreed with me uh let's actually bring that up so or somewhat brace young was number one cj stroud anthony richardson will levis hendon hooker jaron hall uh I probably have Hooker and Levis switched. I probably have Hall lower one spot and Clayton Toon ahead of him just because uh just the athletic ability and taking a guy like that late. Crazy. Toon did go before him. I think I think uh in the fifth round, but Jaron Hall was like the eleventh quarterback taken over. I'd like Jake Hayner too. Um, I had I probably would have had Jaron Hall just a step above him. I would have had Hainer eight. Um, Stetson Bennett. Um, geez, all, all these other guys. Tanner McKee. I didn't even want to touch Tanner. I uh, just looks awkward out there, quarterback, and I just wasn't fluid. But I'm gonna let's 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 for the first time. I didn't really look at this draft profile. This is one of those I didn't look at. Um, player bio. Hall's father, Kalen, was a running back at BYU, and his mother, Holly ha- Hamilton, was a gymnast for the Cougars in early 1990s. The top 20 dual-threat quarterback prospect served a two-year LDS mission in California before redshirting the 2018 season. 4-4, one rushing in two games. 4-4, four four, four, one yard rushing two, whatever. In 2019, Hall missed time with concussion, but started two times in seven games played. Um, 31 for 46, 70 point, 67.4 completion percentage, 420 yards, one TD, 29, 139 for 4.8 rushing, three TDs rushing. He also played baseball at BYU in 2019 and 2020. Though he missed the 20 football season with a hip injury, Hall missed games in 21 with a rib injury, but managed to start 10 contests. 189 for 296, 63.9 completion, 2,583, 20 TDs. With a rib injury, but managed to um, five interceptions passing, 62 for 307, five yards per carry, three TDs rushing. 
He's a full-time starter in 2022. This is where he, I mean, these are great numbers as a not a complete starter for the season, but then he comes back, goes to 248 for 376, 66. So everything's bumping up. 3,100 yards, 31 TDs, six INTs passing, 86 for 348, four point yards per rush, three TDs. Uh, he missed the New Mexico Bowl with an ankle injury. And this is uh, by Chad Reuters, the writer for NFL.com. Here's his overview. An undersized pocket quarterback with unimpressive arm strength. Hall's field command gives him a shot to make it to the next level. He throws with excellent ball placement to targets on the move. And delivers a feathery soft deep ball with accuracy. I agree with I agree with that. And anyway, now there's a question on his arm strength. Because this guy throws with touch. Um, he throws a catchable ball. He throws people open. He has great anticipation. This is all the things I like about him. But the question is arm strength and his height, of course. His uh, lack of drive velocity creates smaller margins for error. And his timing needs to be impeccable to beat NFL man coverages. True. Um, I'll talk about a little bit back about this later. Hall operates with ideal poise from the pocket. He does an adequate job of reading coverages, and getting rid of the ball without taking sacks. The size and arm strength will concern some teams but offenses operating out of heavy play action with levels-based route concepts could target him as a solid future backup. I think I think this guy has starter potential because he's got great anticipation, placement. He throws back shoulders. He throws people open. He um, he has the ability to scramble and run, and he's looking to move forward on his runs. That's why I don't compare him to... Uh, Russell Wilson that much is because Wilson's a scrambler. Um, J- Jaron Hall can run, um, but he doesn't look to run first, which I like. They do call him a pocket passer in here, so I don't know what he's talking about. This guy can move. This guy can move, but yeah, the f- that is not a dig on uh, pocket passers. Um, this guy can do both, man. I like him. I like him. Strengths, plays with poise and confidence. You can f- feel on tape is exactly right able to swing through progressions with haste i i'm not not kidding when you see him looking this way and then boom delivers it and it's a, it's it's uncanny it's very good he's not and again it's just because he's not throwing with a huge body and he has this big arm it doesn't look like oh my god look at that bullet no he, this guy is throwing with anticipation he knows where his players are going to be, and he leads them. It's it's uncanny how good that is, and that's why I'm I'm touting him as QB next because he does have this ability. We may have found the guy for the future, um, and the only thing that was holding me back from saying this guy is legit starter in the league is his height, and that's it. That's really it. Oh, and potential strength of arm, but there's players with he's good enough arm for the NFL. Uh, waits out coverage clearance to make his throw for sure. For sure. He delivers throws with placement to keep receivers in stride. Per, this guy throws again, anticipation, leading receivers, throwing them open. Touchdown interception ratio four to one for his career is amazing. This is Hinnon Hooker ish. That's 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 how amazing it is. Above average touch throw, the deep ball. Uh Crazy good at it. Willing to dump off to the safe option of primaries or smothered. Comes from family of athletes. Weaknesses. Smaller quarterback with limited arm talent. Could struggle to make deep sideline throws on time. Uh, slow to climb and avoid crashing edges in the pocket. We'll see about that. That can be. He's he's good enough athlete to step up in a pocket. Unable to rip the ball into windows. I haven't seen it yet. I haven't seen it yet, so we'll see. This guy has great hips, great. Um, they don't talk about it in here, but his footwork, his hips. He, he talked about it in an interview about how that's what he got out of baseball is that quick twitch, uh, you know, the hip movement. Um, because when you bat, you're you're doing that while you're throwing, you're doing the same thing. He he sees it, he sees it, and that's you look at his hips, you look at his feet placement. He throws, he, he gets the strength from there. You can tell. Uh, sales throws when forced to throw over tall protection. I'm sure any short quarterback would. Below average, making challenging move, move throws. I don't know. You don't see, it's true. You don't see him um, throwing out of the pocket, rolling out, whatever. 
I I have a feeling this guy's gonna be fine doing that. Him playing him him playing baseball, throwing it at different arm angles. I did see him do a little of that, but I mean, I like him. I I do, and that's why I'm touting him as QB next. Let's bring up what happened here. Um, let's let's bring up uh, here's an article from Desert News I found um, of what 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 uh, experts think of Jaron Hall. And this was done in April 27th, man, 2023. So it was uh, right before he, right before the draft. Jaron Hall made most of his two seasons at BYU starting quarterback. Now he'll be now he have the chance to advance his career at the next level as a Utah native. Is expected to be a mid to late round selection in the weekend's 2023 NFL draft. Hall provided to be efficient during the time at BYU. He finished his college career completing 65 percent of his passes. 6,100 yards, 52 touchdowns, 11 interceptions, great ratio. The big question now is whether Hall is selected in the weekend's 2023 NFL draft. If he didn't get drafted, it would have been a shame. Fifth round's perfect value for us. He's easily a, a fourth round, if not third round guy. Um, the height is the only reason, and that's why Russell Wilson was third round. That's what, you know, Kirk Cousins was fourth round. There's There was flaws. People didn't see mobility with Kirk. Or, um, and Russell Wilson was too short. You know, so there's good value here. Uh, where do, where does Jared, uh, Jaron Hall rank among quarterback prospects in 2023 draft class? CBS had him as 10th. ESPN had him at 7th. Pro Football Focus had him 13th. The Athletic 8, NFL.com 7. So most people, including NFL.com, you know, 7th. Uh, many draft experts slot Hall into the fourth or fifth round draft projection. Projection it did. ESPN's Jeremy Fowler has Hall uh, among his tier three group of quarterback prospects. A list that includes Tennessee Hendon Hooker, Fresno State Jake Hayner, Clayton Houston Tune. These are the three guys I'm comparing. I basically bundled together. Produce Aiden O'Connell, usually is Doreen uh, Thompson Robinson. Um, yeah, that's the fourth guy, I would think, in that little group. That sits below a group of four quarterbacks that are largely seen as first-round talents and Tier 1 quarterbacks, Alabama Bryce Young, Ohio State, C.J. Stroud, followed by Tier 2 quarterbacks, Anthony Richardson, Will Levis. That leaves a gap at some of the those Tier 3 quarterbacks could start coming out the board. Fowler reported that no NFL scouting executive said Hall is a mentally sharp that one NFL scouting executive said Hall is mentally sharp, accurate, while a veteran offensive coach said the more time you spend with him, the more you like him. One area of concern for him could be his age, like Hooker in Georgia, Stetson, Stetson Bennett. Hall is 25 years old heading into the draft. Now, Hooker, Bennett, and Hall's age impacts their draft status will soon be revealed. ESPN's Adam Rittenberg wrote last weekend, the examination of older quarterbacks getting drafted. Those have been in their shoes, and those who evaluate players say older quarterbacks have both advantages and potential drawbacks entering the NFL. Does he? He had the two-year, um, two years Mormon mission. Hall is a cerebral dual threat passer and above average control and efficiency in the process, but his average arm talent, short stature, injury history are all potential roadblocks. He has NFL backup potential in an RPO-based play-action offense. Burger Road. I think he's underselling them there, man. Who does Jaron Hall compare to? One player compares to that he came from several times, came up several times with Hall is Russell Wilson, the Super Bowl winning former Seattle Seahawks who joined the Denver Broncos last year. Um, probably with a better personality. Fowler talked to numerous NFL executives and scouts for his an ana- analysis of this year's quarterback class and said that Wilson was listed as Hall's most frequent player comparison among the NFL personnel interviewed for the story. Uh, not everyone is sold on Russell Wilson comps. However, Fuller wrote his ability to stretch the field vertically is not the same. According to the NFL execs, a lot of dink and dunk. The exec said the deep stuff is not very good. I, t- what are they kidding me? But a veteran NFL coach said Hill's a creative quarterback with those tape is very easy to watch. It's a lot of fun to watch plays with flair has imp- improv in his game. Agreed he, that he doesn't throw the ball down field. I don't know what he's looking at. CBS Sports Scouting Department. Comp- and the, oh, another thing is he takes chances, takes chances down the field. And, you'll, and I know Vikings like that, Viking fans like that. CBS Sports Scouting Department compared 
all the Tennessee Titans quarterback, Ryan Tannehill. His arm strength is good, not great, and he wasn't pressured often in college. He has some scrambling skill, but not a designed run type at the next level. Ah, uh, yeah. This they're all over the place for this guy, and they're and half of them are wrong. CBS Sports wrote about Hall, smaller frame, but he will check most teams' height boxes. His pocket presence and coverage reading need improvement. NFL.com's Lance Zerline, meanwhile, compared Hall to Gardner Minshew, the Indianapolis Colts quarterback, who's seen his share of time as starter and backup in previous seasons with Jacksonville and Philadelphia. The size and arm strength would concern some teams, but offenses operating out of a heavy play action with levels-based route concepts could target him as a solid feature backup, Zerline wrote of Hall. Nice. That's a good compliment there. Um, I agree with that play action. He's very good at it, and so is Kirk Cousins. Will Jaron Hall be a day three pick, or can he slide into day two? A study of recent seven-round – well, let's forget about that. Um, here's the five seven-round mock drafts that had Hall going. Guy had him around four, David Berger. Um, Matt Miller had him ESPN around three. Pro Football Focus had him seven, round seven. Chad Reuter, five. He was the one that was right, the guy that you know I just quoted. Benny Iyer, uh, Sporting News, round four. Both Bert, uh, Brugler and Miller explained the reasons that Hall was selected. Uh, Brugler had him four, and Miller had him three. So these are two of the guys that liked him more. The BYU connection uh, between Andy Reid and Hall is a fun story. He had him going to the Chiefs, but I've told the Chiefs love Hall's skill set. Kansas City understands the importance of a backup quarterback so much that the Chiefs might even make his pick around earlier. Burglar wrote in Sitting Hall of Kansas City. The Texans pass on quarterbacks in the first two rounds, but they have take a flyer and developmental prospect who fits Bobby Slowick's scheme. Hall's an older prospect with good arm strength, mobility, and processing speed. Miller wrote in the Hammond Houston Select. So there's some guys that really like this guy, and there's some guys that just couldn't get over the height, and they are perceived – um, passing, you know, arm strength. I don't agree with any of that. I think he's got plenty of arm strength. I think uh, not throwing downfield is a bunch of crap. This guy has great anticipation. He takes chances. He leads people. He lets the receiver use the sideline against um, throwing those back shoulders, dropping in a bucket high, so the uh, receivers can high point it. I just see so many good traits in this guy and it all accumulates around this kid's personality and leadership ability. Now I know people are a little ho-hum about Kirk Cousins personality. You're not getting much different during Hall. It's just your taste of personality. These guys are, are good, solid leaders in the locker room. And we got another one grounded, uh, just a grounded human being that can lead this team much like Kirk Cousins already does. No matter what you think about him, it's true. And let's go. Let's go. Make sure you hit subscribe, like, leave a comment below. Help me. Hulk smash the YouTube algorithms. All right. We got QB next. Jaron Hall. Let's go. Cue the music. (laughs) 